Welcome back. It's still the breakfast in Plus TV Africa. Well, the cash should draw policy of the Central Bank of Nigeria came into effect yesterday, as we earlier said, Monday, January 9, uh, 2023, as planned. Uh, despite the scarcity of uh, new narrow notes and the Senate's plea, uh, the Nigerian Senate's plea to the Central Bank to considerably adjust the withdrawal limits in response to a public outcry on the policy. Now, in December 2022, recall that the Central Bank of Nigeria uh, directed deposit money banks and other financial institutions to ensure that over-the-counter cash withdrawals by individuals and corporate entities per week uh, do not exceed 100,000 naira and 500,000 naira, respectively. Uh, Nigeria's Apex Bank also declared that the maximum cash withdrawal per week via the automated teller machine should be 100,000 naira, uh, subject to a maximum of 20,000 naira cash withdrawal per day, adding that only den denominations of 200 naira and below should be loaded into the ATM. And withdrawals from POS as point of sales uh, terminals is a little devices uh, capped at 20,000 naira daily. Now, the CBN yielded to public pressure, you know, over this uh, this policy and went ahead to increase the maximum weekly limit for cash withdrawals across all channels by individuals and corporate organizations to 500,000 naira and 5 million naira weekly respectively now the new cash withdrawal policy followed the launch of uh, the newly redesigned 200 500 and 1000 naira notes as you've seen on your screen by president muhammad buhari on november 23 2022 with the central bank setting tuesday january 31 as the deadline for the usage of old notes in circulation we have uh, just a couple of weeks to go now following the commencement of this cash withdrawal policy what has the compliance been like now there's still concerns about the policy and its workability is there still skepticism uh, over the motive behind the policy and how will this policy affect the nigerian economy short term and long term. We have joining us uh, to provide analysis on this Mukhtar Mohammed. Um, he is, of course, a financial analyst. Mukhtar, it's great to have you on the program and Happy New Year. Same year, so Happy New Year. Uh, what have you observed from your, your you know, readings from the papers and watching, you know, media reports? And maybe if you've been to the banks, have you made any observation uh, from yesterday? I think I've not been to the bank yesterday, but um, get reading from media houses on the papers, it seems that um, we've started seeing the new narrative being despised, despised in the ATM. I think for me that's a good good one. We are reading that people in Abuja and also Lagos, but I don't know about the rural area yet. But then I think it's a good it's a good thing. Um, though most Nigerians are complaining about uh, the timing. Some of them are still complaining about uh, their businesses being cash driven and they feel that some of them 500,000 could be much but for some others 500,000 could be could be small but I, I like i said i think it's a good policy and uh, we've, we, we really even expected to start this smoothly mm -hmm. but i think uh, it's starting a little bit smoothly especially in the uh, urban area so we need to get what's happening in the rural area that's where we have always said the challenges will come from. Hmm. Is January 31 realistic, the deadline uh, for the old Dara notes to cease being legal tender in Nigeria? Well, if you go to, if you go by what the deputy governor of the CBN said, he said they, they ordered for about 500 million um, um, of these notes to be printed, uh, and then they expect that to be here before that time. And again, remember the CBN governor also told us that uh, it's not going to be that um, we are going to print all these notes all at once into the economy because um, also that's also going to be a key to control inflation and also reduce cost uh, in the for for the CBN. So definitely, uh, if you look at that, by by thirty first of um, January, you think okay, maybe it's too short a time, but. Um, if you look at the, the larger picture of what we want to achieve, then you think uh, two weeks is, is not too much for us to um, do a really the old dire notes because all you need is to go to the bank and you exchange it and you have other channels. 
Like that's why the cashless policy also is working. Uh, the only challenge that we'll have is if at the 31st of um, January, uh, most Nigerians, that's the day they will start rushing to the bank. And so they will cause a lot of um, issues into the system. So I would advise every Nigerian, if you have the old Naira note, you try to, 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 to take it to the bank earlier than causing a lot of um, um, challenges on the 31st when all of them won't go to the bank at once and it causes chaos. And that would be a means whereby they want the CBN to postpone, to shift it. Uh, for me, I don't think they should shift it. If they shift it, the larger effect on the economy will be very, very bad, especially in the area of inflation. All right. Um, uh, I want you to explain that when you say be, the effect on the economy will be bad in the area of inflation. Yeah, you see, it's one of the tools that they want to use to control inflation. Yeah. And remember that some of the uh, uh, um, notes, the old notes are not even in the banking space. Even up to this moment, they've still been asking them to bring these notes. We've not got into the number where the CBN told us are in the banking space and the number that are there now still there's still a wider gap between what we we look where those funds that are those Naira notes that are outside the banking space and those that are in the banking space. So definitely if you now say you want to shift that policy, number one, your your inflation fights that you want to use so the currency circulation will be will be a major, major challenge as one. Then secondly again, we mustn't forget that um, most of these Naira notes are also kept at home because of the fraudulent nature that they were gotten. So definitely you give them more time to begin to think of perpetuating most of this fraud. And remember again that the exchange rate volatility that we are seeing today is because so much Naira notes that are not in the banking space chasing fewer dollars that are outside. So the forces of demand and supply come to pay and you've seen those volatility in the exchange rate. But since the implementation of this policy, You've seen the, the exchange rate come from a height of almost 900 to a low of about 600 before we now, we are now hovering between, that's in the parallel it's market, rate, okay. we are hovering between 700 and 740. I'm talking about the parallel market and I, I think it's bringing the, a little bit of stability, but if you decide to say you want to extend the period, it could cause a major disruption, in, especially in the stability of the exchange rate again. All right. Um, um, uh, we were told uh, over the weekend, you know, or yeah, over the weekend, the CBN issued a directive to banks uh, to put the new notes in their ATMs and stop giving them out to customers over the counter. Um, this followed complaints by Nigerians who had not been able to access the redesigned notes since it was rolled out uh, on December 15, 2022. That's what uh, some sources are giving as a reason the CBN is coming up with this directive. Um, what do you think is the thinking behind this directive? I've been thinking about it, um, whether that's the real reason or something else. That's number one. Number two, if the CBN had said it is secular from December 2022, uh, that only 200 Naira notes should be loaded to the automated teller machines. How would people be able to get the 500 and 1,000 Naira notes since they are not being given over the counter? I, I think uh, the CBN seems to be um, bringing different policies, different uh, uh, um, issues. I mean, it, that's why I'm saying I'm afraid um, those are the challenges that we see. Maybe they are not giving us the real information and what it means is that we don't have we don't have more of these notes already printed up and what well, what they have is in the lower denomination. Remember the CPM governor also made mention that uh, we make sure that we do more of the lower denomination than the higher denomination. So for me it's a big challenge because if you are in one hand telling me I can withdraw five hundred thousand over the counter and then in one hand you are saying that I cannot I have to go to the ATM machine to get the new note. So if I want to withdraw up to 500,000, that means they will direct me to the ATM machine. And remember, the ATM machine can only despise 100,000 Naira every day. For, the, for one week, I can get 500. So definitely, I think um, they should uh, 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 think about it again. And it's showing that maybe they are looking at uh, logistics in the short term. But I believe that in the long term, before the end of December 31st, we might get the necessary result that we need. So, so right now you're able to get, of course, a five hundred thousand naira or five million naira per week over the counter, but you can't get it in new naira notes. 
I mean, so what are we talking about? Because if, 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 if you, you're, okay, you're going to keep being able to get those amounts of money only in 09, 02, 31st, then we're already going to see a rush because people would have that money in circulation and want to rush to take it back to the banks. That's number one. Number two, I asked earlier, they're saying give out only 200 naira from the ATMs. So how will people get the 500 and the 1,000 naira notes, new notes, if they are not being given over the counter and it's not in the ATMs? I think we are, we, are, we are on the same page, but what I think the CBN is doing is that maybe they've printed more of the 200 naira notes for now because of the ATM, because most Nigerians, especially in the rural area, make use of the ATM. So definitely, and remember, like I said, the CBN government made mention that we will not be seeing those higher denominations so much. So they are trying to reduce that. In, 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 for me, I think it's boiled down to what we are talking about, trying to manage it, especially in the area of inflation. But definitely not only inflation in this sense. I think it's logistic. Right. Right. They have a logistic challenge. And maybe they are looking at, if they begin to dispense the, dispense the new 500 to 1,000 naira note before the date of convention of December 34th, they may run out of it. But uh, I think you made a valid point that, okay, if you are giving me the old naira note, I have to bring it back to the bank. Also, again, after the uh, expiration of this of, of, of the tenure, and you are telling me 34 December, you are going to give me that note maybe on the till on the 30th. But I think um, I think um, within the next one week, we need to look at those policies and we begin to see whether that will still be that you get the old naira note over the counter or over the new naira note. Remember that the CBNs they are listening to the cry of their stakeholders and by that they will continue to reject this policy to meet the demands of, of the stakeholders and also Nigerians in general. So I expect that in the next one week is a pilot scheme We're just starting that they look at the next one week how much success they have. So they might begin to say, look, you know what, we can begin to despise it within the Qatar. That's what I think. In the short term, you, you need to give it to them that they are trying to look at the policy. We still have up to like in the in the next three weeks to make sure that all these uh, notes, the new Naira notes, uh, are available for all Nigerians. Remember, they say the new Naira note and the old Naira note will continue to be a medium of exchange in 31st December. So, what I advise Nigerians is you must be strategic so that you don't go to collect the new Naira, the old Naira note, and then at the 31st of December you are not able to. I think you must try to insist for your bank to give you the new Naira note, and if they don't have it, then you need to begin to look at using the cashless, uh, uh, the internet uh, uh, banking, or using your your ATM to do transfer. So that is for me, that is the best way to beat this. Um, so it, because uh, in the short term, like I said, it's going to cause a lot of disruption in the system, but in the long run, it's going to be good for us. But how the CBM manage the short term? Is, is for me is the major challenge and I, I think if what we gathered from yesterday uh, yesterday and what we are going to be looking at for today it seems to have started in a little bit uh, smoother than we thought but we need to watch it I think for me in the next one week we, 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 it's a key uh, determinant to see whether on the 31st of January we we'll have the new Naira note or, or we we'll still have both the old Naira note and the new Naira note but even on CBN, I think in the next one week, we should do away with the old Naira note, especially within the banking space, and begin to disperse the new Naira note. That, again, will be an encouragement for Nigerians that have the old Naira notes to bring it to the bank. No feel where they're going to bring it to the bank and get the new Naira note. But if I'm going to take the old Naira note to the bank, and then I will still have the old Naira note, I don't think it's, a, it's, 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 it's good for, for, wow. for anybody else. We want to do it's, that. This is a really confusing situation. I think you put it perfectly. I take the old Naira note to the bank and I can't exchange it for new Naira notes because you're not giving them over the counter. <laughs> How does that work? Uh, so we're all going to wait till 31st December. Uh, 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 um, January, I have a name in my head. This is a, much as a trivia for you. It's a former um, uh, uh, head of state, you know, former premier uh, of, of Nigeria, former prime minister. Um, he's from the southeast. What, who am I talking about? He has his face on the currency. Yeah, that's Dr. Nambi Azikiwe. Fantastic, fantastic. So I have Dr. Nambi Azikiwe for you. I wish I could give this to you, but you're, you're far from me. Um, I have a theory. My theory is that people, especially in the rural parts of Nigeria, may, who don't know about this, this, this change, may 
reject the new Naira note as being fake. Beyond December 31, um, January 31, 2023, or people will still be trading with the new old Naira notes beyond that because they look so similar. Yeah, well, and uh, we've talked about the counterfeiting. I think it was in your program or one of the program. Uh, we talked about counterfeiting. Um, we talked about the whole idea of a new Naira note coming into Spain is because um, you need to guide against counterfeit. Uh, for me, I think the best way to get against counterfeit is to get those new Naira notes from the banking space. That is one. That, I mean, take the take. I mean, when you take it from the bank, then you are able to. Get. And again, I think the major challenge that the Rwa people have had is in the area of um, uh, um, um, information. I expect the CBN to begin to use the national rotation agency to use, begin to work with the media houses, both uh, both. Uh, private and government, and also use the town crafts in the villages involve the traditional rulers. I think the CBN have not done well in the area of information. Uh, they need to do more in that, and unfortunately, three weeks might not be enough for them to do that. They needed to get every stakeholder involved, especially because of the rural area. Because even in the urban area, I gave an instance that right when I was in Kaduna, uh, a friend of mine was telling me where he was trying to give the old Naira notes. To 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 a, 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 to to a vendor when he bought something and the vendor was practically rejecting it saying no he will only collect the new naira note and also another incident happened somebody was giving the new naira note to a vendor and he said no I would rather collect the old naira note so because there is no a, a information from the CBN the CBN needs to do more in terms of information. They didn't but, do but, more. But, but, they didn't do. Yeah, maybe. Because there was no jingle. And again, when it comes to counterfeiting, like I said, uh, you, you those days when you, when you see, you want to take the counterfeit from the real, you just read If you go to the market, you don't know, raise it up and they see the coat of arm. And they say, yes, yeah, this is the original, this is not original. It took Nigeria to be complaining that they have counterfeit fund. Counterfeit is coming into the system for the CBN to begin to tell us what are the security features to look out in the new Naira note and what are the security features um, um, in the new Naira note so that by that you can be able to identify which one is fake or real. That is what I'm saying that they did not do well in the area of um, enlightening Nigeria about this, their policy. All right. Uh, 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 finally, you look at the, the, the design of this new Naira. Uh, if I were to hold uh, you know, the two of them side by side, the new one looks like counterfeit. While the old one looks like the original. A look at the painting is not neat. They are spillovers. You look at the 500, the zeros. They are spillovers of the green. You look at the, uh, the, the, letter, the, the letter 5, you know, the big 5, big F. They are spillovers of the green, you know. And then when we did an experiment live on air to try and rub it onto a white paper, um, this is what we saw. Okay, I think you can see this. You can see the green, Mukhtar, is faint because of the screen. But we saw green. Um, on this white paper, you know, which means that it's going to be washing off if care is not taken. So, aren't these reasons why Nigerians may um, decide not to, some people who are not enlightened, accept this new narrative and go with the old one beyond January 31, thereby creating a parallel economy of sorts, a parallel currency economy, if you want to call it that, in parts of the country like, country like villages. People just need to pay themselves, like they are using, some places are here, they use a Biafran pound. They can they can pay hey, themselves with it and CBN you know they, they don't they won't send the money to the banks and they continue living life as, as normal. Doctor, I think uh, that might not work if you're into business because if you talk about the Biafran pound, uh, what is the medium of instant that you have to keep it at home? Security well, that is not um, right, and again you can't take it to the bank. I I don't think that will, will work even because it's stop being a legal tender. From the 30th, the old Naira note stop being a legal tender from the 31st of January. So if you are transacting business with the old Naira note, uh, then you are doing is illegal and definitely ordinarily in a, in a sane society, in a civilized society, the security agents are supposed to come, out, come after such people. That is one. Secondly, remember that the, the, the MD of the Security and Printing Ring Commission came in that it's a deliberate plot where what, what you just did on, on the scene is part of the security features of the new Naira notes comparable to the old Naira notes. Remember again, one point is one uh, uh, issue that the CBN government kept driving then, it was that to guide against counterfeiting right. that the new Naira notes, the, the new Naira notes is going to make sure that 
apparently very difficult for 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 for, for them to counterfeit it. Even if we saw that they had to, but the only thing they didn't give to us to look at the future security features. And at the time we got, um, yeah, we saw that they were counterfeit. They started telling us what to look at in the old and um, what makes it counter. So for me, security features is what determines the the, the 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 nature of the currency. It's not in the design. How much security feature do we have? in that currency to guide against counterfeiting and what the CBN is telling us if we have to believe them which I okay. think we should believe them is that it's going to be very difficult for them right. to counterfeit Luta. the new Naira notes to the Luta, thank Naira. you very much for your time and uh, we'll keep monitoring this uh, as we count down to January 31 um, and of course we'll have you again on the program I appreciate your time and have a wonderful day uh, and of thank course, you Yes, that's the size of our package right here on the Breakfast and Plus TV Africa. Please endeavor to follow us on our social media handles uh, at Plus TV Africa on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and YouTube as well. We have two accounts Plus TV Africa and Plus TV Africa Lifestyle. My name is Kofi Bartels, and News Tonight is up next. We'll return tomorrow with the breakfast. Good morning.